It's always, if, if you've never been on a Guy Ritchie set, it's always hard because you get the script and you get the objective at the top of the scene, but the words will always change. When I did The Gentleman, Wrath of Man, I know not to learn my lines, I rock up, know my character, and then he'll give you the lines. He'll literally feed you the lines in between. So for me, like, the objective is always very clear. He knows what he wants. And, but how we get there is really different and it changes each time. So the dialogue was natural, but you had to be on point, especially because I was doing an American accent, hopefully. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you had to be, I had to make sure I was on point with that. And uh, we had some help. Actually, there was a moment where all of us were struggling with a word and Jake was like coming over to help us. He was like, became our voice coach. So it was lovely as well to have that. Jake says that he has a hook in him and it's driving him crazy because, you know, the, the service, the men and women who serve this country, our country, your country, they have a huge burden on them to make sure that they do the right thing. You know, they're there to help and give us this freedom that we have. So for me, the, the main aspect of the covenant, coming back to your question, is a promise. That's my, I know it's not the official version, but when, when I heard the word, well, I was like, oh, covenant, it's about promise, about redemption, and that's the main thing for me. They're my mates still. We have a WhatsApp crew. Do you want me to show you what we talk about? Our, uh, no, no, but we're really good friends. And we spend every evening having dinner. We had drinks. We went out. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm super excited. Look, there's this Christian there, so I'm going to go invade him in a second. Um, no, it was really strong. And we want to make sure we, we, that naturally came together, just offset. Whilst we're sitting around, actually, there was a moment where we all talk about mental health and our families and, and the effects that soldiers might have. And then hopefully that transcends on camera as well. And you know, with Jake as well, he was great. And Da, we all just sat around. It was like at lunchtime, so we all sat around and ate together. And Guy was there cooking his barbecue, making us food. So that was also fun. It was a great camaraderie we naturally all had. Uh, was running up that hill. Guy made me up, run up a 60 foot hill seven times and run back down. And it was really high. And I didn't realize that was happening. And uh, somewhere on camera is me going, uh, walking down. It's like, come on, Jace, walk down faster. We're still rolling. And I'm just like hovering down, <laughs> trying not to roll my ankle. That was probably the most memorable moment for me. Um, yeah, so that was, that was tough. But the training was fun. I enjoyed the training.